Hello, all of our friends and family in lesbian land. Here is the flyer for our private pride party during San Diego Pride. We hope you can make it. Hello, and welcome back to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. I'm Rosa. And I'm still Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> and we thank you all for coming back and, and, and joining Conversations with Sharon and Rosa one more time this week. We mm. appreciate you very, mm. very much. So if mm. you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. So before we get into today's topic, and I think you guys are going to love today's topic, um, we have to do our shout outs. Our first shout out goes to Peach T. Thank you for being a subscriber to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. I haven't heard from you in comment wise, but thank you for being a subscriber. Mm -hmm. Also, Gina B. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a subscriber. And last but not least family life thank you for being a subscriber to conversations with sharon and rosa we appreciate everyone mm -hmm. every one of our subscribers yes thank we you, do thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. um so today's topic came up <laughs> in a conversation imagine that that sharon and i <laughs> were having with my sister-in-law or well, future sister-in-law i guess kind of my Kinda. sister. Okay. <laughs> let's, just, let's go. Let's leave it there. <laughs> so <laughs> um, we realized that we all had like different um, definitions of what dating was versus relationships. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Dating versus relationship. Is there a difference? Ooh. So when we say, is there a difference? That means we want to know from you all as well. Mm -hmm. And as Sharon has said in our previous videos, we are not professionals in any way, shape or form, but we're just certainly giving you our opinion. We mm -hmm. are experts in our own lives. So, so we would love to hear what you all think dating versus relationship um, is and what that looks like for you all. Right. But today we'll give what it looks like for us. Um, so you want me to start? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> if, if you want to. <laughs> oh, you may not want me to start because my whole dating, for me, dating is. Uh, hmm? Go ahead. Oh, for I'm... me, dating is when you are um, sort of not committed to that one person, mm -hmm. but you are maybe gone on um, several different um, outings with one person, mm -hmm. but not necessarily committed to that person. Not and exclusive. you may be going mm -hmm. to outings with other people too. Cause right. that's kind of what dating is, right? right. You're kind of not exclusive. what, you know, one person may have versus whatever. It's kind of like an interview for me. Dating is like the interview phase. So you're dating, you have the interview phase and then that dating could turn into a relationship when you have the conversation because never in my experience a relationship starts unless you have the relationship conversation because you got to get both people you know on on board right so the understanding if yeah. i'm dating yeah. sharon and she thinks we're in a relationship that's because we haven't had that conversation right so for me that's what the two are and i think a lot of times we get it misconstrued in mm -hmm. relationships because we don't have that conversation and don't define what it is that we are in. Like I know, and I have friends that have had first dates and next thing I know, they think that they're in a relationship with this person, but then they mad that, you know, they haven't heard from the person all week. <laughs> right. And it's like, right. <laughs> if you're in a, if you're dating someone, then, you know, you don't expect to hear from them every day or mm -hmm. once a week or whatever. It's kind of like when they're available, right? Right, right. But when you're in a relationship, then that's a little different. They should be calling you on a daily basis if you all are oh, not whatever in the same household. Whatever is cool and that y'all have talked about and yeah, agreed to. Yeah, You got to have the conversation. It starts with the conversation. Because even if you do agree that you, you, that you, you are just dating, their idea of dating may be obviously something very different to what you call dating. 
you know, and right, but not do you to mention, agree with what I said, or you think I, they I, is um, different? I think um, I think you're close. I think <laughs> I, I think you're close, and we did have the conversation, and not yeah. even talk about did we not even talk about how we came together? Yeah, but yeah. but but there was a conversation. There, there definitely was. Look, a conversation. there were many. I'm not so, being in a relationship with anybody unless I have a conversation. Right, I need and, you and to know we're in a relationship. And, we both talked about this. And just because you have the conversation, don't mean you have agreement. But at least you should have an understanding how I feel about it. Exactly. You know what I mean? We're saying, well, like we've been seeing each other for you know four months, and is I is or is I ain't your woman exactly. you know what i mean like uh, i'm dating you and i'm talking to lamb chop number two also and and so so my take on it um but first of all let's even define it you know dating is a process it's really windy out here you all so yeah you hear stuff don't in worry the mic, look we're sorry this is my hair it ain't gonna blow nowhere okay but um <laughs> you know dating is a process of simply getting to know one another yeah all right how you run your process may be a little different from someone else but it is getting to know you yes. it's simple as that now some people it may take you know some people like hey i done dated you twice i see what i want and it's you and other people like like, you know, they can go months and months with dating or stop dating and start again next year or whatever. It's Some no commitment. Some people dating all their lives. Right, they right, even trying to right. Be in a what works for you. And that's n and look, not demonizing anybody. I ain't got no question. I'm My only question to some of our, uh, you know, our friends and loved ones in lesbian land, you know, is it working for you? Yeah. You know, and uh, so what we're saying today, and we do agree on this part, is that you got to have that conversation. Right. All right. And sometimes, like I say, maybe the conversation, you know how you don't want to ask the question because cause you're afraid of the answer. Am I the only one you're seeing? Hell no. No, no, no. Or yes, you are. Right. For right now. And I think you know, having the conversation sets the standard, too. Because even if you... It sets the want, standard? It sets the standard when you have hmm. the conversation. Because even if in my mind I'm in a relationship, but in the other person's mind we're dating, if they let me know that, then I can, you know, act accordingly. I don't want to, you know, be put all my eggs in one, one basket, basket if right. they haven't. You right. know, and well, it's like, okay, if they're out dating other people, I should probably be doing the same thing too. Why am I or, waiting for them to or not. call me? Or not, because, because maybe that works for them. And, and maybe it was just the word standard that, I, that that threw me a little bit because I don't think it, it's not necessarily standard, but it definitely, um, you, you communicate the expectations. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm dating three people and you're only dating no one but me, you know what I mean? Let that be known. You, you know what I mean? It's no, it's you know, no harm, no foul. It's just a conversation, and you want it to be honest, so I know exactly where you're at, and you know where I'm at. Right. You know, so you know, because some people, oh well, you know, we've been seeing each other three months, and what you gonna do? I'm gonna keep doing what I want to do, <laughs> which is still date you, if that's possible. Right. And maybe if you're we've okay gone with that. right, oh, you're right, and maybe we've gone as far as we're gonna go. So I don't think it's a one size fit all for everyone, but some things are just. Um, some things are, I don't want to, not required, but expected. And I think you'll get some juice out of that, which is to find out what, you know, take the temperature. You know what I mean? Right, but Just, some people see dating and relationship as the same thing. Oh, uh, okay. What I'm and we're so here like, today, even it, if it is you're not. Saying, if you introduce someone as, you know, your partner or whatever, then is that because you're in a relationship or are you introducing them as, you know, just, the one you're dating. No, I'm right. Well, like I guess say, know, people like, work it out for themselves, but I'm not going to say uh, you're my future wife when this is our third date. You know what I mean? Uh, this is my friend. This is a, you know, you know a young lady. Uh, you, hey, this is Shayna. How you doing? You know what I mean? You don't have to go into a, you know, a stage three explanation of no, who I'm the, not even long saying. as you two are know, uh, know right. who you are to each other. Okay, but when the person is not there and someone says, you know, like, well, we're shame, or, right, right, or, right. Oh. Or are you seeing someone or whatever, and you say, "Oh, well, I'm dating so yeah, and so," right. or is it proper to put in the text, you know, "Well, I'm in a relationship with so and so"? Like, it's a difference for me. Okay. If you say I'm I'm dating someone, the fact that if that person is not there, I assume that you're in a relationship because you are bringing up the person. Because oh. most people who are oh, dating wow. somebody is not even going to bring it up. Like, oh, well, I'm, I'm kind of doing a my people. thing. Right. Yeah. That's but okay. you don't say you're dating someone. So in reality, with hmm. even th this conversation, it looks like it could be the same depending on the conversation you're having. 
Hmm. So it could it could be the same, right? Uh, it it could be. And uh. as you know, and keeping it real, you and I have had you know some dialogue about this. I don't think we're going to stay in the same line all day about right. it no, I because get that. It could be, because I do feel a little differently about it. And just because we went out once or twice, one I don't have to say your name. And and let me say this as a caveat, I think we we put way too much of our business out there. Get mad when everybody know what you're doing and who you who you seeing, and they're like, "How'd you find out?" Well, you told it. Right. You know what I mean? Because ain't nothing worse than well, she said you guys are that that y'all in a relationship. Oh, I dated her once or twice. We went to the movies. We went to the zoo. We ain't moving in with each right, other. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. One person may have that, but because right. the conversation was not had. If the conversation was had, that person wouldn't have ever said, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. I'm, okay. I'm in a relationship with them right. because they would right. know how you would feel. Right. But if you don't tell them that, you got to tell people where you are and and where they are in your life. Well, how about this? And see, now, could you keep going down? Like, I was trying to be nice and not rip the scab off. But, you know, just because you're okay with it, they may very well, like I said, it's not a standard, but it is a, um, uh, it, it's, it's putting your cards on the table. What you put down and what she put down may be something different. You know what I mean? Because you say, did you, did you tell Ronnie and them that we are exclusive? Right. right when you're saying we just dated twice. When the other person kind of feel like, well, yeah, you know, we, you, you know, we kind of got a thing now. No, you don't. You dated each other twice, and you might not get a third date. One, because you put your business out on the street. Two, because it's just not there. <laughs> it's just not there. So now you, or you right, just right. I haven't told that person where they stand in your life. I right. remember. Right, but that doesn't mean they accept it I, either. I remember one time I met this uh, woman online, and I met her online not necessarily because we were a match but because we uh were interested in the same thing so right, i used to right. play mm -hmm. football and right she played like flag football mm -hmm. and so she said hey i see that you know you have some football pictures on here i'm on a flag football right. team so that's kind of how because i was going to go out and you know play with them one, right, one time. Right, and you did, yeah. And mm -hmm. so I went out there, and she and I ended up hanging out because she said, well, later on, we're going out, blah, blah, blah. Took my stuff to her house, got dressed over there afterwards, and then we went out. And so, like, the next week, she came over to my house because she worked closer to where I was. Right. So it was like she was stopping through. I'm like, okay, well, she said, I'll bring dinner, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, we had dinner. It was like we just had conversation. Yeah. And... How, look, how's work going for you? By, how's work going for me? Yeah, she conversation. She said, you know, like, well, where are we in our relationship? And it caught me off guard because, <laughs> honestly, I didn't even look at her like that. We really were just having a good time together. It Buzz. wasn't any, yeah. I never held hands. And I was hoping that I never let her on, but maybe I did. I don't know. But the... The end mm. thing of it is, when she asked me that, it caught me off guard because I was thinking... Maybe she does think we're in a relationship. We were hanging out. And we and were And you're thinking buddies and what a nice yeah, person, right? And that's what I'm saying. And it's yeah. like mm -hmm. well, what she have she told other people? But, you know right, what I'm right, right. Like, Mm -hmm. We're definitely not dating, not even in going towards a relationship, not even going towards dating. So <laughs> Look, that's simply not happening. Yeah, and right? it, and it just <laughs> caught me off guard. So then I and I felt like I had to mm -hmm. feel like I had to act different around her because right. I didn't want to lead her on. So you right, know, even right. when we went out, I'd be like, "Girl, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see if I can find me a girlfriend." You know, say something <laughs> like that to know that it is not you that I'm on. You know, not, <laughs> and I necessarily wasn't doing that. I just wanted to change the conversation up. And let her know that it just wasn't us. And and she felt some kind of way when I was just like, no, that's not that's, what we are. Right, right. And, and um, it's not going to happen. <laughs> right. And, you know, I think it did change the dynamics a little bit. And it, and it should because one person is thinking one thing and the other person is thinking the other. But I didn't want her to go around maybe thinking we were dating or just telling people that you know she was dating me so yeah, she, i don't know look she's over here again yeah exactly. yeah well you know we kind of kicking it kicking what exactly right because she yeah. had been to my home and i had been to hers yeah and yeah. so it was like, like any friend might have been but yeah right, yeah right right so, so i mean honestly we didn't even hook up for purposes of let's go out and try to be a match 
She well, I I mean the way she hit me up, it was for football purposes. Yeah, only. y'all playing some sports, right? Right. So right, right. I was it just Ouch. it did take me off. Well, guard. it happened. That's a good story, and and that's a you learned a lot from that. Right. You know I what I mean? To to be even talk clearer about the conversation and right. and make it early too. You know, yeah. like hey, you know, or you know how some like somebody will take you. Uh, we out went out to lunch twice, and I picked up the tab both times, and she got to know yeah. I like her. Like whoa, 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 wait a minute. You know, I had just started my my job down at the city and now let me take you out yeah. you know what I mean no no I think we I think I want more you're like I'm not even thinking like that <laughs> but she think because she done took you out to lunch twice like it may be more than that and yeah. it gets kind of crazy and I, and I hope this doesn't sound bizarre but y'all know how life goes down in lesbian town right y'all really really you, you know so none of this is new so 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 back to the to to the dating or are we in a relationship? Supposedly there's a you know with the, you should know the difference. We mm -hmm. we should feel the difference. And if you feel it, why can't you communicate it with that person? Right. Supposedly, um, you know, yeah, did some reading and you know from my life observances and, and everything. There's five different stages to to dating. And first of all, of course, this is a no brainer. It starts with the attraction. You know, you right. see somebody that you find interesting, alluring. And uh, you uh, wink, wink. Right, and she winks back, you know, hello. And she says, <laughs> hello. <laughs> and I say, you had me at hello? <laughs> and then, no, just No, kidding. she did, though. She, you know, she, she had me. We'll tell you that story, too. So, so you know, with the, um, you, you, you know, the attraction that of course you you must have been interested on some degree right. you know what i mean Something like oh wow clothes. i love green eyes i love five foot eleven i i'm attract uh, me personally i love dark skin mm -hmm. i love i love my black woman i'm not uh pushing anybody else uh to you know to the curb i mean but i really love us and we come in so many shades and uh, I, I just enjoy it, you know. Now, nothing against the uh, green-eyed sisters and five foot nine, and I used to model. Wonderful, you're attractive too. But what really turns me on, you know, when I walk into a room, if there's five women there, my eyes just go to the darkest one, mm -hmm. you know, because that's what I like, you know. So, any of it, we all have our attraction. So, okay, with the, <laughs> so with the, um, oh, you're making me blush still, okay. still. Um, <laughs> so the attraction starts first because if there's no attraction, chances are it's not too much interest, not that kind of interest to make right. you go like, can I have your number? You know what I mean? You know, because like now everything, like everything about the phone, you give somebody your phone, put your digits in. Right. Ch -ch 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 -ch. All right. You know, I'll be calling you. What's the best time? Well, I sleep till 10. Okay, can I call you quarter after? <laughs> So, okay, so there, there's attraction. So there's attraction, you kind of like, you know, are you interested or, you know, can I call you? Things go from there to um, the reality. You know, now that you, you've caught each other's uh, uh, attention, you kind of want to know like, okay, well, who are you really? Oh my God, I didn't know that she drinks uh, vodka in the morning. <laughs> Look, while I'm eating my- But I still think she's cute. <laughs> mm. <laughs> As I'm eating my- Cereal. My Cheerios, she's over there down in some vodka. And when you say the reality, when you see the reality of, the uh, of, of, of who the person is that you've been flirting with for the last two or three months, and nothing wrong with reality because we do need to look and look again. Yep. Um, the third part is, let's say it is, okay, like, okay, uh, I'm attracted to you, you're attracted to me. Uh, the reality is you're this kind of person, I'm that kind of person, she's an Aries, I'm a Gemini, I think we're going to work with it. Uh, then some kind of commitment goes there. Commitment as to, hey, we agree that we will be dating each other. Not necessarily excuse it, but, you know, like, mm -hmm. hey, I like how you roll. You like baseball? Me too. Yeah. Got tickets. You like the theater? Got the season. Season tickets? Me too. You know, that kind of stuff. And, you know, the same, th you know how it goes. Sometimes things go from zero to 50. Sometimes things with us in Lesbian Land, they go from zero to 5,000 in just three months. Um, the next part the is... um is backing up. <laughs> as you're having breakfast, you know, beep, beep. What's that, the U-Haul? <laughs> That's the U-Haul. The next step is, uh, the fourth step is uh, intimacy. Intimacy, intimacy, and I don't mean just sexual, but just truly, um, you know, uh, psychologically. Who, who, who is she romantically? Who, who is the person that you're falling in love with? And the fifth part, I know this is straight people thinking, but the engagement. And I don't mean just, gee, we're going to get married. The engagement of I'm closer to her now, she's closer to me, we know who the other is. 
Now, if you buy into the fact that these are basic five steps of, you, you, you know, just of, of the... Um, dating. Excuse me, of the dating. I got something in my throat. Uh, the five steps of, uh, of, of dating. Well, okay. Um, you don't have to... There's no timeline on it saying, oh, you got to be here for three months and then you go to the next steps in three months. Sometimes we go from st stage one to step four. Hello. Because you know you how we do. the intimacy. Mm -hmm. uh, some people have met you in the club... <laughs> And slept with you the same night. Oh, please. We're not, and we're not doing sex in the bathroom anymore, are we? Oh, no, oh that's so 70s that. and 80s, you know. But, but, you but, know. but yeah. seriously, you got a place, I got a place. You want to come over my place? Oh, I got a dog, and I'm allergic to dog hair. Okay, hey, but. it's consensual. We rolling. <laughs> <laughs> you know who the former slut puppy is, don't you? <laughs> we rolling. Oh, now. Were wrong. you really like that? No. No, not my, not my pookums. <laughs> Please. I love how she just thinks I never had a past. You know, like I know you got a past. You got two kids, and mm -hmm. there was a man around doing that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I know you. I think we're pretty good about the past. Yeah. No, I mean all jokes aside. Yeah. I mean, you, you got a past. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So, so anyway, so so staying on track. You know, we, we're talking about you know uh, dating, vice vice the the relationships. You know, mm -hmm. so. So what's the difference? You know what I mean? How do how do you know that you're just dating and how do you know when it turns into a relationship? That's my when question. When you, you have the conversation. I'm saying Oh you, okay, wait a minute. It and won't I, work. Wait a minute. Unless you, I like what you're saying. You're saying when you had the conversation and not only that here's my caveat for that. The honest com conversation. Yeah. Please be honest because it's like speak now or forever hold your peace. Right. When you say that you are available and you have no one else on your mind, and You're I'm thinking not think in a relationship with somebody else that you just not telling. right, right. You know, please tell the truth because this is your time. This is your your, your time to just you, you know, like if we're going to go any further, or even if we're not, just be honest to the person. Right. You know what I mean? Like say, hey, uh, I ha I have an ex, and we're not completely. Uh, what is it? Um, they, we haven't completely. Um, what do I call it? Uh, de detached. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to detach with love from my last uh, relation, and we have some legal issues too. Tell the person that, yeah. so they're not standing around there up there waiting for something that they're not going to get, or something that you're in the midst of. You haven't finished your old business. And they understand that you're going through it if you let them know. You know, I mean, when I'm women or not. Yeah, that's true. Or well, not when I met you. You know, I was saying that you had a little I was situation. Some, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. at the time, and so I was just like, "Hey, hold on, let me just see, you know, what's gonna happen with." But y'all wasn't in a commitment. Y'all was just, you, you, you oh, know, we were definitely dating. It definitely wasn't a relationship. But y'all definitely did. Yeah, 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 and I understood and, that. And um, yeah, but I knew it wasn't going anywhere. So. Right, and and if it was, it would have already. Yeah, that, but I that's didn't what want the, you to not know about it because right. I was still in it. Right, when we met. Yeah, you, you hadn't know. detached yet, totally. Yeah. You know what I mean. And but I would have, I would have detached whether you came along or not. Okay, okay, and that's true. And I felt that too. But yeah, uh, yeah we did have the conversation, and you were honest, and as was I. Mm -hmm. All right. Now the other thing, uh, I think I was, um, uh, you know, Rosa does this, this uh, face to face, pow pow, you know, kind of serious thing with me. So she. Um, when we were okay. when we when we weren't even really dating yet, we were talking. We surely were talking a lot, mm -hmm. and yeah, and I think we were just starting to date. But it was a conversation you had with me long ago and far away, mm -hmm. and you just like you caught me, you, you you caught me off guard when you said, "Well, Sharon, are you looking for a relationship?" And few things you know threw me off kilter, but I just took one half of a breath and I said, "Yes, I am with the right person." Yeah. And there was silence on the line, like, you know, like, okay, okay. I and was I, honest. And I appreciate your because to me, if I'm looking for a relationship, and let's say you had said, no, I'm not, I just want to meet people and, you know, hang out with them, I would know what what pocket to put you in, yes. so to speak. And, yes, yes. And to me, that's when it works out so much better. It's like you're not just taking my heart and dragging it through the mud while you go through what you're going through and not tell me 
that you're not looking for a relationship and I'm here I am like no I'm not seeing anybody else let me cut her off let me cut her off and her too because I think I found the one that I want to be with when the one that you want to be with hasn't even told you if they want to be with you right 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 not even so, not even whether or not the person is telling the truth or not but even having the conversation because yeah. remember you know people are different states of readiness to be honest with you mm -hmm. now if you're just an honest person and everyone gets the full treatment I get that but everyone's just they don't follow that mantra yeah and you know that you know some people they play the games until we not okay I'm not feeling like playing games anymore so I'm gonna tell you the truth I mean I've dated women I didn't even know their real name remember I tell you we went to the airport <laughs> And the, the one, the name, this assumed name she was living under, when it, it's, it's a crazy story. But in any event, I literally did not know the woman's you legal name. You found her name out at the airport. At when the airport, they announced the, the, it for the, the, right? And I was like, "Who is that?" I was like, what? <laughs> what? I said, there I go again. You know, it comes, you know, dumb doors. You know, so so. Get ready to so, travel with somebody and don't even know their real name. Right, okay. right. Because you you know you only know what people want you to know and what mm -hmm. they choose to tell you. Yeah. And then your part is to whether decipher decipher whether or not it's true or not. Right. And there's people out there playing all kind of games. There's people. Um, what's that? Catfishing people. There's oh, people yeah. who do. I mean, that's crazy and bizarre to me. I still don't get it. Uh, th it, but I guess it does happen. Yeah. But there are people on the internet presenting themselves to be one thing and they're another. There's one girl, a girlfriend of mine, she thought she was dating, you know, was going to see a woman and it really was a drag queen who was uh, out for fun. I don't I don't even know how those bizarre stories happen. Yeah. They don't happen to me because I ask, usually ask the right questions and if you say the wrong thing to three out of five, well, it's really been nice knowing you. I hope everything works out because I'm thinking, I'm thinking lie, you're lying. Right. Oh, I've caught you in a lie or, or like why are you even misrepresenting yourself like that right there's a lot of gangsters out there and we know that but for the purpose of lesbian land and all the wonderful lesbians out there and women of, of quality uh, we're talking about you do have to stay uh, you got to stay on your game because because yes. people there's people out there taking you for a ride you don't even know you you don't remember getting in the car Right. All right. So and if it doesn't seem right, it's probably not right. No, exactly. Don't be trying to question, call 15 of your girlfriends, girl, this will happen. What would you think it is? You know what it is. Right, it's right. It's okay to be, you're going to find somebody else. You ain't got to hang in with somebody just because you think you're not going to find somebody else. But you know, no, they I came know. along, somebody else will okay. too. Yeah, but uh, but you know we get tired of that too. You know what I mean? Like you know, cause when your buddy say, "Don't worry, you are gonna find somebody." Eight years later, the girl ain't only been on one date. You know what I mean? Like like you know you can you what do you do date once a decade? You know, but you're gonna die waiting. But but I'm I'm just saying, um, uh, you know, look, we're we're women. What's the basic thing we want? We we want to feel love. Yeah. We want to love and we want to be remembered. And yeah. somewhere in there, and there's nothing wrong with just throwing your cards. You know, I threw my, you know, my gauntlet down. You know what I mean? When I met Rosa, um, uh, my former partner uh, had, had died in 2010, and I, the next five years, girl, I was partying like a rock star. <laughs> I was doing crazy stuff. I'm having fun. I'm at the strip bars. I'm at the casinos. I'm taking trips for no reason, and you know, and I'm, you know, and I'm running across. Dating women. fifteen people at the same time. Not fifteen, but girl, that's a lot of hard work, and it gets expensive. I'm old school, so I assume that I'm picking up the check if I invited you. Right. Okay, I'm not that one. Of, oh, you can't pay for anything. No, my name is. What's my buddy? Uh, she called me. Here come Big Bank Hank. Big Bank no, Hank. There is no Big Bank, and my name ain't Hank. But I do, um, I do believe in entertaining. And having fun so I went through all of that got everything out my system and you know took a deep breath and had some hits had some misses but when I met Rosa I, I knew she, she was one but let me tell you about one of the stories before Rosa talking about today's topic about not knowing whether you're dating or in a relationship right. this young one this one one I had known for years I mean went over 20 years whatever and, and I knew she always had a little spark for me but and me not so much for her but she was nice and she was a buddy okay and uh, matter of fact we go so far back to we were even in the Navy together a hundred years ago so any event make a long story short um, I'm now a widower you know and uh, and uh, so she comes through town and you know, we may, we reconnected. You hey, know how you how doing? how people do when somebody pass away. They won't be the first one there. Okay, I you know, got you. Look, mm, you know, right. yeah, exactly. You know, I know how to cook. What you mm -hmm, eating? I'm sure exactly. I'm fixing it. Right. So to accelerate the story and being mindful of our timeline, 
so so we uh we you know we went out a couple of times but believe me no promises made just want to know how's your life the kids are grown up uh you know you know boom 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 how's your job i'm getting ready to retire myself blah 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 she comes she comes to my house and she said your house is too small for all the furniture i have yeah, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I, I do have something to say. And and because I know the story, when you cross the line with someone, that's a whole nother different avenue. I would have probably assumed we were dating too. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, wait a minute. Y'all ain't yeah, just yeah, go out on parties yeah. and stuff. Y'all cross the line. And once you we cross connected. over, yeah. and that's a whole nother. When you've uh, given yourself to someone, that's uh, a whole nother thing. Unless you had the conversation. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. Okay. You're right. They were, now, we had not had the in conversation. Your defense, I can see because you were still grieving and wasn't making the best decisions probably in a relationship. Um, at that time, I wasn't in a relationship. No, but I'm just saying about a relationship. You just wasn't making the best decisions, probably going forward about women. You know, you had to get back in the game. Number yeah, one. that that was number two, trying to figure it out, still trying to grieve. You know, so I get it. You had a lot of stuff going on, but at the same time, in her defense, y'all crossed that line. So yeah, so we immediately had to have that conversation, and you know, but even right. though your actions may say one but thing, you should have probably had it before. Yeah, yes, that that before right before you crossed. It so up. what I learned that what I learned from that was like to be even clearer and even sooner. You know how like somebody if you just you tell somebody where you at and how you think about things, but hey, don't get nervous because me and you ain't gonna get that far or whatever. You know, people gonna right. get defensive. They and remember when you run into someone, some lovely person out there, you don't know where they're at on their journey. Absolutely. You don't know if you just they just came out of four bad back to back bad relationships. You don't know if they you you don't know what their history is more or less where they hurt is. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if you didn't take enough time to find that out, you just you're working in the blind. You re right. you really know if they don't tell you, how are you supposed to know? Right. It's as simple as that. But that experience that I had, it it, it taught me something even at my age because I was just thinking like, how in the hell does somebody think that we're going from zero to five thousand? Right. You know, ain't like you stayed here for the last three weekends or, or you know, you, you, you left your clothes in my drawer and I left you a, a you know, a corner in the closet. None of but that had happened. But she never even said that and left, went back to her corner, you in your corner, but y'all on the phone. Is the, she's in her world like y'all in a relationship. True. True. So she might have been back telling about five people she done got with you. Look, look, look. I'm so, I'm going to move to San Diego. Well, you may be moving to San Diego, <laughs> right. but you will not be living with me. Okay. And the thing, <laughs> and the, the lesson from that is just to have the conversation and to be yeah. honest with whomever you're with, even if you're not sure if it's going to work out. Just be honest where you are, because feelings do change. I've dated people that I didn't even like at the beginning, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, it, it's worked on me. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And they are, you know, we're good people. But at the same time, some sometimes feelings don't. And well, you're just like, eh, it ain't going to be, ain't never going to be. And I well, get so here we are still talking about it. So what's the difference between dating and a relationship? In my mind, a relationship is a one-on-one -on -one commitment with one another, and you both have decided to navigate this world together, right. uh, to navigate a life together, build a life, you have a life. I have a one-on-one -on -one relationship exclusive of others. Now, before you even got there to the relationship thing, believe me, you should have had those kind of conversations in dating. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, this is what I don't like. This is... I. I uh, so with, dating is building up to a relationship then? Sometimes yes, sometimes not. Okay. You can date a person for six months and you're just like, you know, Sh Shana, it mm, <laughs> just ain't working for me. If anybody out there named Shana, I don't mean to, I ain't throwing no, no you know, no shade. No shade. But, um, but, but whatever it is, I mean, because everyone, everything happens at a different timeline and a different pace for other people i'm not saying i mean it's like rose and i i can't defend it we went from zero to five thousand really we did we, mm -hmm. we we did and i still say i knew before rosa knew and um you know i wasn't worried so much like she was gonna break my face and like you know like oh well, you know i really care for you and like babe you know like you were so last week i'll keep you on the lineup but i'm not <laughs> sure you're gonna be my starting pitcher what? You know, it, it didn't happen that way. Um, we really, um, we just been very, very blessed. I, I knew it and, you know, talked her into it. <laughs> no, seriously, we knew. Talk me into nothing. No, not at all. And um, it just worked. 
And between meeting and dating and connecting and all of that, uh, our first date was in April on her birthday, and we were married in August, that same August. And, my, you know, if you would have told me, I, would, I mean, you, somebody could have just tapped me on my shoulder 10 years ago and said, Sharon, you're going to be married uh, with two children. You know, and I'm like, what? You got the wrong Sharon. But uh, life's never been better. Right. Life has never been better. And, uh, you know, so so I'm not saying um, that it works or it doesn't work. It just happened. That's how our love affair has happened. Right, right. I've seen some people. But that's I, not how it's always been in your life. Not at all. Not, not, right. not, not, not at either. all. Yeah. Uh, but I have lived with several women before. And um, I just think I, I think I do better in relationships. Left to my own devices, I'm going to jail. As simple as that. Because I'm a fun person. You know, I, I enjoy having a good time. I love the company of women. And I, you, you know, like I said, left to my own devices, somebody gonna hurt me you know right. and then I'm just saying I, I do very well Gemini uh, I, I do very well one-on-one -on -one with the right person yeah. and I knew that Rosa was the right person I, I knew uh, the fire she had I knew she could handle me <laughs> and she still handles me so that's the way it is Whatever. you know so so dating uh, vice a relationship you should not be the last one to know <laughs> that you are in a relationship or that the other person thinks that you're in a relationship right you know how about this you know you're, you're up there dating and somebody said well are you seeing anyone else yes yeah. I'm seeing a couple of someone else's right right What's and if you are that? dating someone it's okay to even ask that question be okay yes. with asking the question please do and start the conversation. Start the conversation so yeah. she can't, like, well, you led me on. I didn't lead you on. No. I mean, I mean, it gets there because all you have to do is have one, a relationship, a connection with mm -hmm. two women, and one didn't get what she wanted. One didn't get what she deserved. One didn't get what she expected. If you feel into it, fall into any of those, uh, those boxes, you got an attitude. Mm -hmm. Oh, she led me on. Well, I took her to Vegas. You took her to Vegas because you wanted to go to Vegas, and you wanted to go to Vegas. You don't get no change. You don't get no <laughs> refund. Did you have a good time? Good. She did too. Right. Boom. Right. As one girl told me, don't worry about it. I don't, uh, how she put it, when I'm with you, I'm with you. <laughs> right? So she's with you, you, her, and her. On different weekends of of the month. I mean, I'm not saying that the person out there playing you, but I'm just saying if she's out there dating other people, you need to be dating other people too, or have the conversation with her. Yeah. I would like more from you. I need more from you. And if you're not in the you know of the mindset to give that to me, okay, we can get. Keep on going. Look, exactly. look, love to your mama, yep. you know, and that was a mean uh, roast beef that you cooked the other day. So y y we ain't got to get nasty. We don't have to get ugly. You know what I mean? And nobody's got no broken hearts. Yeah. You don't get no refunds. We are grown women doing grown woman activities. And for all my friends and loved ones out there in lesbian land, cut the BS. You know what I mean? You don't get your money back. Right. And I'm tired of y'all crying about it. Oh, she took advantage of me. No, she didn't. Right. You what know? role did you play? Right, right. You know, come on. You know, so. you you know, you like the show. You bought the ticket, you saw the show. What? Read the back of the ticket. You know what it says? We're just dating. <laughs> We're just dating. <laughs> That's good. We just dating, babe. Okay, so just have have we? Uh, oh, I just feel so passionate about it because right. uh, y'all might find this hard to believe, but sometimes I'm shy, <laughs> so hardly. So I'm saying, even if they don't bring up the subject, I'm going to bring up the subject. I really am because I just want to know where I'm at, especially if I feel that I'm investing something more right. than a casual, you know, glance at, at somebody. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you know, like um, my birthday's coming up and I'd like you to be, you, you know, part of the birthday party. Right. You know, I really would, babe, but, you know, I got other uh, obligations. Look, OK, that's just letting you know that there's really other people. Right. Right. You know, and, and that's OK. Mm -hmm. Fair swap. Ain't no swindle. Right. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So so we're there. I think we beat the subject yeah, down a lot. But it was something else you wanted to say today, and I was supposed to remind you. This, too, it starts with the conversation. Yeah, it does. If you haven't had the conversation, please do. 
have it with her. Absolutely. Initiate it because it's important. This will save you a lot of uh, heartburn later. Right. So, like always, we're wishing you the very best. Of all good things. Stay safe and stay woke. Have that conversation. We love you. <laughs>